Welcome back, everybody. This is Jocelyn Lovely Tarot. So good to see you guys here today. This reading is for my Sagittarius. Mm. These readings today are very powerful, guys. I'm loving this energy. Especially for this reading, guys. This reading is very, very powerful. If you guys resonate with this video, like, share, and subscribe. If you guys are not Sagittarius, but you may have the placements in your charts, or if you stumble upon this video and you, you resonate with it, like, share, and subscribe. Please uh, spread it around the channel. It helps my channel grow. All right. We're starting off with the four swords. Look at this beautiful sword. It's almost as if you spend these last years tending to your garden, creating a garden. I think you guys came into this uh, journey hopeful, wanting to, to, to become, uh, what is that, that n knowing? You wanted to be more knowledgeable of life's journey, life's purpose, ascend. Some of you guys came into this journey like, I want to be enlightened, right? It's that, that, that cute, that cute optimistic way of being, right? When you start off in this journey, tending to your garden, healing yourselves, focusing on, on just uh, rejuvenation. Uh, it was like the card of virginity too, because it's like a, a like an apprentice looking to be a master, right? Very, very early on journey, a cute little sword, nothing in your surroundings. You haven't paved anything yet. You just were hopeful, right? Because it talks about faith, new, new hope. And then the nine of swords, but it's just the journey. You go through the journey, right? With, with knowledge, your mindset, right? The beginning mindset versus the mindset now. I mean, look at this beautiful sword. It's beautiful. Don't worry about the Nine of Swords. Just look at the, the journey, the difference between this card and this card. The journey is huge. Look, look, there's just light. There's just so much clarity. You've actually built an oasis for yourself, right? Crystallization, meaning that the, 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 the pain the, the, over the time, the hardening. Because it's hardening, but it's colorful and it's beautiful. It's still beautiful. And look at the wording in the sword. Look, the difference with the sword is stronger. It's sharper, it's clearer, clearer of a clear mind. Even the top, right? There's there's no more, um, it's not even about hope. It's just someone who, who became, you go from beginning, right? The apprentice to the master. You're a master. I don't care what anybody says, you're the master. It says it here. The journey alone that you went through was so freaking incredible. It was crazy. It was up and down. It was so much. It put burden on you. Nonetheless, the gems are in the background. You literally became a gem because of all the pressure. And then this is you. looking at everything this is thought this is thought this is truth this is you seeing everything your life journey for what it was for what it was what happened the pitfalls the ups the everything the knowledge the sacred knowledge you learned from this journey alone it's everything it's almost as if you appreciate divine timing even more now or you're able to surrender at a higher level because you understand in life you really don't have as much control as you think you do. And I think you're okay with that lesson that life taught you. Some of you guys are sad. I'm going to be honest. I see sadness. Some of you guys are reflecting with how difficult the journey was and you're sad. I think it's because of all the changes that occurred. Remember, you were when you started, you were... You were light. You started this journey eager, excited. And then after so many years and so many pitfalls and just everything, it's like it all weighed on you. And then it makes you sad because you're no longer the same person you were when you started. See, sometimes people, it's, it's sad to say, but when we get older, we do tend to get a little more, I don't want to say bitter, but we get worn down. And sometimes we, I feel like some of us become resentful or not resentful. We feel sad because it's like we're no longer as optimistic as we used to be. 
just because of the, the heaviness of life, right? But think about it. It's like, let's, let's just move on. With the King of Pentacles, you're looking at, I'm saying, it's like you're looking at everything from a higher perspective and thinking of all the losses and the gains because it's, 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 it's Pentacle right? All of your desires. And it's almost as if two, what I'm getting here too, is this person looking at like the driven force. Some of you guys are, like I said, sad because you're not as um, optimistic as you once were. And I think that really gets to you. Gets to you essentially because some of you guys don't understand that life happens. And I feel like you might have lost something along that journey that made you essentially you very happy and very just childlike. It's almost as if you've seen your, your childlike mentality and, and kind of wished that you still had it. It's almost as if when you look at a 20-year-old, you see their whole life ahead of them, and you're like, damn, you, you feel happy for them because it's like, you're still young, you're still optimistic, you're still happy, right? And then we know what life's going to essentially do to you, and you're like, man... It, it, I think that's why a lot of people like younger people because you see them and you're like, man, you have your whole life ahead of you. It's like these people bring joy to you because you see that your inner child really sees the inner child in them And it's like man, I need that. I miss that Right, it's the reason why older people or grandparents like being around children They tend to spoil the child more It's like you get to you get to appreciate that more when you get older because you don't have much of it It's not it's not a bad thing. I really think that I think some of you guys may the only thing that I would say it's it's upsetting is that is that you guys kind of feel sad about not being able to have that anymore. Some of you guys are going to cry about that. You're going to cry because it's a desire of yours. Some of you guys are wondering if you're ever going to feel that optimistic and fresh. I want to use the word fresh. That fresh-minded, that, that open-minded. And I don't know if you're ever going to get there i don't think we can i think you know that's the reason why we learn what we learn it's it's essentially it's just part of the journey my question is are you going to be able to still move on and be happy and appreciative even though you're not you may not ever i'm not saying you're not gonna ever what if you don't ever get that fresh mindset again feeling like that like you're that young and new and naive what if you don't get that back could you still be happy and and look forward to life without it because remember you're essentially you still have a whole life ahead of you there's other things to look forward to and other things you haven't experienced could you still look forward to life even with the baggage and all that essentially right because then you get the emperor gratitude when you, this guy closes his eyes he can see the future he can soar and see ahead he's a leader he commands right but it's like this person is taking the time to reflect on what it takes to be an emperor. Essentially, yeah, like I said, you're not naive anymore. You're not fresh. You're not new into the scene, but you are the emperor. Isn't this what you wanted all along? You wanted to be the emperor. You wanted to be master. This is what it took to be a master. Now you're in the seat and now you want to be the apprentice. Huh. It's, it's one of those days where you're like, man, I wish I was 20 years old again. Man, I wish I was 15. You know, whatever. I was 23 and, you know, still young and happy at heart. 100% happy. No. It's nice to think about it, but come on, man. You're an emperor. You're not going to trade that seat to for a 20-year-old who doesn't have the confidence that you have. Hell no. You may be 20 now, so this is, you know, if you're an emperor at 20, damn, you had a you had a life. You carried a lot of burdens, honey. Doesn't matter what age you are, I'm just saying, I'm using the age as an example as the naivety. And that's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. It's almost like when you tell a 20-year-old man, enjoy your body now, because when you're my age, you <laughs> you can't lose it. You can't lose the weight that fast, right? It's something like that. It's cute, right? But it's... It's life. It's what it does to you. Some of you guys, <clears throat> you got an ace of swords in reverse. It's all of the mind, right? 
it's almost as if you guys feel a little powerless or down on the fact that that this person essentially look there's a skull there's this death that you're mourning again it's the old version of you the version of you that didn't know the version of you that that could make mistakes and not care about the consequences <laughs> that person is you're grieving that person because it died it's gone you know, I heard the same ones that when you go through your healing phase, when you're when you're done with it, there's a part of you that you think you lost or you lost every part of you. You essentially don't really lose the core parts of you. They come back. Now, I don't know if that's 100% true. I don't know. You know, we don't know, right? I haven't experienced 100% being the person I was before. I don't think, I personally don't think that's possible. But if it does happen... Again, it's the core stuff, the core foundation of who you are. The, the, the essence of your true essence doesn't go away. That's all that really matters. Then you get another, again, you get the strength in reverse, right? But it's just really the skulls in reverse. It's, it's, it's accepting that you have to let this version of you go. You can't go back to the past. The past is over. That old way of being, it's not, it's not you anymore. And maybe when you admit that, maybe that's how you heal. I, I don't know. But it's, it's essentially letting it go. Let it go. We all have that. We always look at the past trying to grasp an old version. It's like, it reminds me of the great Gatsby. Remember when Gatsby was trying to go back to that time with Daisy where he wanted to be exactly like that? But years had gone by. It wasn't the same circumstances anymore. You you had already learned. Things changed. And it's like, it's like, it's it's just you hoping for that past version of you. If you, can, if you maybe this time you can grasp it. And it's like, it's just hurting you. And you know it too. It's like you know it's hurting you. And it's like, it's just sad though. That's what it is. is that you're, you don't want to let it go. Because it's sad. With the Ace of Swords, it's uh, feeling powerless. It's, 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 always, it's always that reminder of feeling powerless. Ace of Swords in reverse. To feeling powerful. It's almost as if you think that the old version of you holds the key of what you, of your essential happiness. You think that if you grasp it, you're going to be happy. You, it's all going to come together. You, you're going you're gonna to have it all. But it's like, that's not you anymore. Can you accept that? Can you accept that you're just the emperor at this point? And there's so much to enjoy now that you essentially would never have been able to enjoy if you didn't go through the journey you went through. You would never have been able to enjoy this emperor status if you were in the na in the naivety phase, right? If you were n clueless about everything at the apprentice level, the apprentice never learns anything really. Essentially, they're wanting to learn and they're growing, but but they're not. They haven't grasped power. They haven't grasped control of themselves and who they are. They haven't gra grasped confidence, which is what you have. Why isn't this enough for you? Damn, that hurt me. That hurt me saying that. Damn, I, sometimes I say things, I'm like, damn, that hurts. So, <laughs> why do I feel biased with my own videos? That's fucked up. <laughs> damn. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. The minute you let this go, accept that the past is the past, and you're here now, you can have a whole new mindset, a whole faith. You can have faith for what the future is to come. And you start being grateful. You're like, man, I have my whole life ahead of me. You actually do. That's the thing you don't see. Or, or, or because you're so stuck on something else. It's like, stay in the present. If you're in the present moment and you heal and you cry, that old version of you, you're going you're gonna to see that there's, your life just started. Your life just started. It's easier said than done, right? But it's, you earned this. 
You earn the right to say, I lived a whole beautiful life and I still have more ahead of me. You earn this. It doesn't matter what age you are. It doesn't matter what you've been through. Some of you guys don't even realize that these young, naive apprentice, and that's not a bad word, okay? I'm saying like just these young kids, these young bucks, these young people, they want, they want to be you. They want to have the confidence you have. They look up to you for that reason because you have what they want. That's why they seek to you for guidance. It's like you're forgetting who's the one in charge here. It's you. You're going to give up all this power and control for what? To be young again? I mean, it's a nice feeling, but it's like you've been there, done that. See, the minute you heal and see what you're cap what you have already, it's going to change the whole game. Look at all this forest. Like you went from here to, to all these flowers to blooming this. Even the colors are the same as in the nine. This is all you hold inside, all the gems. all the, See, be grateful that you're the master because now you can teach. You're at a stage where you could teach this to people and get paid for it. Bruh. You got so much gifts and values inside of you. You don't understand. There's people out there, young, fresh minds who just started their awakening journey looking for someone like you to spill that tea, to spill the, the goodness, to spill the, 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 the key. You have the key to the kingdom and these people want to be let in. They want you to teach them to find the kingdom within themselves. They want you. They want your wisdom, your knowledge. They want it all. You hold the keys now. You're the one in power now. You got the goods now. Time to teach, baby. Any other advice for my beautiful Sagittarius? How y'all doing today? I hope y'all are doing good. You guys are doing good. I really do. It's a Friday night. Well, I'm going to load this up like probably Sunday or Monday. <sighs> I already have videos for you guys for days. And it's like, by the time I load them up, I, I should do it in the morning, but I do it at night. It's like, come on. I could have done this earlier and I just, I just decided not to. Yep. This one's been wanting to come out. Seven of Pentacles. Mm. There's so much fire within you. So much. You done invested so much. You done give your whole life up for a better a better version of you that's here now. And it's it's all yours. You're sending these smoke signals to people. It's like it's almost as if like you build such a strong foundation here with so much of your desires, your needs, your wants, that this is a, a pit stop. This is a stationary event where like you sending you, you by being that powerful and magnetizing, you're sending these smoke signals up. Like you're like a haven. You're like a safe haven for people to come and learn. You're the sage. You're the you're you you you're a teacher. Whether you want to see it or not, you always have some type, because of your experiences, you have some wisdom to teach. I mean, essentially, that's all I have for you. I mean, it's the same thing again and again. All right, guys, that's all I have for you. Bye.